بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين The ten who have been given glad tidings of paradise known as العشرة المبشرين بالجنة Many of them, they were brought into Islam by Abu Bakr They were the friends of Abu Bakr, al-Siddiq رضي الله عنه Abu Bakr was the friend of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم It was their circle This goes to show another point Something we learn from this story You will be influenced by your friends Definitely, unless you influence them. When you have a circle of friends, you start doing what they do, whether you know or you don't know. When you have a circle of friends, they start doing what you do at times, if you are the dominant person. This is very important. Keep good friends so that goodness comes out of that friendship and not bad. They were the ones who accepted him. They knew him the most. You take a careful look at who accepted the message. Wallahi, it was those who knew him the most. We are taught that if you want to know more about a person, look at his family members, his wife to begin with, or the husband in the case of a woman, uh, the children. Ask them, the friends, the closest friends, look at whom they befriend. An acquaintance, a business partner, and a friend. Those are three different things. Not every business partner is your friend, not every acquaintance is your friend, not every acquaintance is a business partner, and so on. We're only talking about friends, those who are really close to you. You're with them nearly every other day, if not every day. With us, we're taught to build good circles. You attend the masjid every day, you have a good circle of people who don't harass you, they have good character and conduct, or they're taking from your character and your conduct. That is a very important factor. Nabi Muhammad wasallam's friends helped each other, they accepted Islam, but there, were, there was a group and there were other people who rejected. Immediately they called him a liar, a false person. They accused, accused him of wanting power, wanting money, wanting, you know, womanizing or whatever else it was. A lot of accusations, being a sorcerer, a magician. All those words, remember them because if people have accused you of being a magician, doing black magic on someone, uh, wanting money, running after power, wanting fame, wanting this one. They have accused the Prophet Muhammad of the same thing. It's nothing new. In fact, it's a sign of the love of Allah for you. If those accusations are not true, then thank Allah. I mean, a lot of us would get it when you're starting to spread the deen. People will refute you unjustified, which means if it was justified, it's okay. But without any justification. They will hate on you. They don't even know you. They've never met you. Don't worry. Thank Allah. That must make you smile. Alhamdulillah. Allah loves you. Allah, if it happened to the Prophet Sallallahu so now look at you. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless every one of us. And so don't worry about these accusations, but don't be from among those who accuses others with the same accusations because then you've just joined the wrong circle. Interesting. That's a very powerful point.